to another video from mrgoff.com. This video will introduce the topics of economic growth and GDP. We hear a lot about economic growth. People are always talking about the need for it. So what is economic growth? To put it simply, economic growth is the growth over time of GDP. Ah, very helpful, Mr. Goff, I hear you think. But what is GDP? Ah, good question. I'm glad I imagined you asked it. GDP is the total value of goods and services produced in a country in a year. In the UK, the service sector accounts for around 80% of GDP. Retail businesses are a part of this. London accounts for the largest share of both the financial services sector and the tourism sector. Educational services such as international tuition at the UK's prestigious universities contributes large amounts to GDP. The UK has a flourishing creative arts industry with success in both film and games. Exports make a big contribution to GDP and a major export from the UK is high-tech aerospace equipment. Formerly more prominent industries such as agriculture and mining also continue to contribute. The rate of economic growth can be calculated by the change in GDP since last year over the GDP last year times 100. This gives us a percentage rate of growth. If GDP in 2018 were 50 billion and GDP in 2019 were 55 billion, then the rate of growth would have been 10%. This would be an extraordinary amount of growth. You may have heard the expression GDP per capita. GDP per capita means the GDP per person within the country. This gives us the opportunity to be able to compare countries that have very dissimilar populations. If we look here, we can see that while the GDP of China far exceeds the GDP of the United Kingdom, that when we look to the GDP per capita, it is far higher in the United Kingdom than it is in China. As part of this unit, you need to be able to analyse recent and historical GDP data. The data you can see here is the UK's GDP for the last 10 years. You're likely to be asked to describe the trend in the GDP that you can see in the graph. The key problem we tend to run into is students' answers vary between too little, such as an answer like, the trend is upwards, to too much, where people say, in 2010, it was 2,475.24 billion US dollars. It then rose to 2,659.31 billion US dollars. Going through it like this is not what we are after. What we're after is a summary of the key factors you can see here. A good summary of this chart might say something along the lines of, GDP rose steadily in the UK between 2010 and 2014, where it reached its peak. It then fell away fairly rapidly until 2017. Since 2017, it has seen a strong recovery, but it has not yet reached the peaks of 2014. You could also be asked to analyse the UK's economic growth. This chart shows economic growth quarterly in years. Let's have a quick look at a piece of it to see a common mistake that students make. If you were to analyse the period from Q1 2017 to Q1 2018, some students might mistakenly say that the size of the UK was shrink, UK economy was shrinking at this time. This is not the case. We still have positive growth, so what we would actually say is that it was growing at a decreasing rate. Well, that's all we've got time for this time. I hope you've learned something about economic growth, GDP, and how to analyse recent trends and historical data regarding economic growth and GDP. 
Join me again next time when we'll be looking at analysing the determinants of economic growth. Until then, have a good time. I've been Mr Goff from MrGoff.com. Thanks for watching.